Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be showing you how to fix your database errors for any Paradox Interactive products. So for this fine tutorial, you're basically going to want to open your Windows Security, and you'll want to go to your Ransomware slash Virus and Threat Protection tab. At the bottom of the tab, you will find a product called Ransomware Protection. You will click on Manage Ransomware Protection. In doing so, you'll click on allow an app through controlled folder access basically it makes it to where the computer will not screen for it so then you will click on add an allowed app and you will browse all your apps in doing so it will take you to your file explorer and in doing so you will go to users the user it specifies your app data your local you'll scroll down till you find programs you'll click on Paradox Interactive and then you'll see that there's many different launcher variants like launcher v2 of 22.14 launcher variant 2 22.13 so on and so forth you'll click on the most recent one that is marked by the date modified you'll click on it and you'll see that there's an application called Paradox Launcher you'll click on it you will click open if we scroll down on my side we will see that the paradox launcher .exe that I just did is now verified so I'm doing so we will do the exact same thing to grab the bootstrapper And then we will just click on it and we will click open. Now I'm doing so. If we find where my Paradox Interactive stuff was beforehand, we will see that the Paradox Launcher.exe and the Bootstrapper.exe are both there. Now, all you should have to do is close out your Stellaris and open it back up, and the issue should be fixed. If not, leave down in the comments and I will try my best to help you figure it out.